Assalamu alaikum everyone today we'll start numerical 2.3 kinematics chapter number 2 class 9th now let's see the problem statement 2.3 a car has a velocity of 10 meter per second it accelerate at 0.2 meter per second for half minute we have find the distance travel during this time and the final velocity of the car so let's see how to solve this numerical problem first we enlist the given data car was moving with the initial velocity of 10 meters per second consider this box as a car it has initial velocity vi that is equals to 10 meters per second this car accelerates for the time of half minute and speed up to a new velocity that velocity is denoted by vf the final velocity we have to find the final velocity and during this time t that in this half minute the car traveled some distance s and we also found that distance the car accelerated with the acceleration of 0.2 meters per second Here, this value is given in the numerical. So a is equals to 0.2 meters per second. Here, the time is equals to 0.5 minutes. Now convert the minutes into the seconds because minute is not the SI units. We have to put all the units is SI units. So to convert 0.5 minute to the second, multiply it with 60. converts to 30 seconds now time is 30 seconds acceleration is this and initial velocity is this and what we have to find we have to find the final velocity of car that is vf and distance traveled by car s that is this okay what's the solution of this problem to find the distance we use second equation of motion s is equals to vi times t plus half a t square so now we So distance is equals to that car travels in the half minute is the two three ninety meters. Now calculate the final velocity. To calculate the final velocity, we have to use third equation of motion. Two a s is equals to v f square minus v i square. Two into point two meters per second square. into the distance that we have calculated 390 meter the vf square minus minus the vi square that is 10 meters per second square
so the final velocity of the car is 16 meters per second we calculated this velocity with third equation of motion we can also calculate this velocity by using the first equation of motion uh, because vf is also equals to vi plus at it's your choice that which of the equation you want to use so now vf is equals to as we know the initial velocity is 10 meters per second and acceleration is 0.2 meters per second here for the time of 30 seconds so again the velocity is 16 meter per second so it is more convenient to use first equation of motion uh, because it uh, reduces the number of calculation steps but uh, it's up to you uh, i show you the both uh, ways in which you can uh, perform this numerical so if you understand it uh, please like my video share my video with your friends and subscribe my channel in the next video we will perform the next numerical thank you very much